Hey, I'm Wes. I'm a flight paramedic. I'm here today to talk to you about the medical interior of an Airbus AS350 B2 helicopter, otherwise known as the A-Star. Um, right here we've got our portable transport ventilator. It's the LTV-1200. Um, it functions very well and does just about everything that we need it to do. We will soon be going to the um, same company that makes this. Uh, also makes one called the Rebel. We will be going to that ventilator soon, but in the meantime, this, this ventilator does everything that we need it to do. It has multiple modes of ventilation. Um, you can use uh, volume control, uh, pressure control modes of ventilation. Um, we can ventilate adults as well as pediatrics. Here's the vent circuit that's attached to that. Our suction canister, which is down here, is attached to the back wall of the aircraft. And um, something unique to um, helicopter EMS, which you may not be familiar with um, on, on the ground or in hospitals, is liquid oxygen. Um, it is, uh, provides us a significant uh, longer time from uh, full to empty on uh, long distance transports. Um, we've got uh, two um, oxygen trees. We can run multiple, um, multiple devices out of that. Down here we've got our, uh, one of our two three channel transport <clears throat> IV pumps. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. We've got a fluid bag down here that carries warm fluid. <clears throat> this is our airway kit, um, something very important for flight EMS and EMS in general is your ability to maintain a patient's airway. Um, that's one of the reasons we get called a lot is for airway management and it's something we take very seriously. Um, inside here we have just your regular laryngoscope as well as a video laryngoscope. So that's that. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, next piece of equipment is our cardiac monitor. Uh, as well as a defibrillator, we have the ability to perform 12 lead EKGs. As well as defibrillate continuous cardiac monitoring, we have um, waveform capnography. For when we do intubate a patient, we put them on a vent. <clears throat> Every patient we intubate ends up um, with a uh, CO2 detection device in place, um, as that is the gold standard for uh, maintaining an airway and, and uh, guaranteeing that that airway stays in place and in the right place. Um, it is. This is a ProPack model. Um, we have uh, blood pressure monitoring, uh, waveform capnography. We have the ability to um, monitor three invasive lines as well as a patient temperature should we need to en route to the hospital. Um, very much like your uh, standard transport monitor. Um, it just so happens that we use this one in a helicopter. So that is that and we have a stand whenever we get in the helicopter and put the patient on it. We set it right here. That way myself um, and my partner who's a nurse um, can both see the monitor. This is our jump bag, and this contains all of our, uh, a lot of um, wound care supplies, um, uh, IV supplies, uh, blood pressure cuffs, um, trauma dressings, um, other airway devices. This, this, the heart monitor, our airway kit, and two drug bags go in on every flight that we do. Um, if it is a scene flight, um, you know, say you have a, a bad motor vehicle collision and we land on the interstate we're going into an ambulance we're gonna bring this our monitor airway kit <clears throat> and two drug bags that way we can do pretty much anything um, that we need to do right there in the back of the ambulance before we load the patient up <clears throat> and this is just a standard sled um, standard for uh, helicopters and this type of helicopter as well um, this silver blanket down there is what we like to call we call a cocoon um, every patient we transport gets one of those and it just guarantees that they stay warm even in the summertime it's been proven that um, patients can become hypothermic um, in in battle and in, in, in wartime in Afghanistan and Iraq they found that patients coming in from the battlefield even at those temperatures in the desert um, were coming in hypothermic and it didn't make any sense so patients who are um, victims of significant trauma um, have difficulties um, maintaining thermoregulation so they uh, everybody who gets put in the helicopter gets one of those cocoons wrapped around them and it ensures that they stay warm throughout the transport. Um, guess that's about it for uh, for the medical interior of the A-Star. Uh, you guys have a great day and see you later.